for sisters especially, um, I remember kind of having a crisis before I went out on my mission. Um, because it's hard to know exactly what to bring. Um, with elders, it's a little bit more straightforward. You have your suits and your shoes and that's kind of it. But with sisters, you have to have enough skirts and tops to go with those same skirts. Um, it's very easy to get sick of your clothing. Um, one tip um, I have is a lot of the sisters, there's a shop called um, Primark in England. And um, it's probably in the same quality as like Target, um, kind of in there, their clothing. So it's, it's cheap. Um, and it doesn't necessarily last you that long, but it's it's fun to go there on P day, and because they they usually have pretty modest choices too. Um, so a lot of us would go there on P days and and get skirts and and tops, and um, they have other fun things there. So um, so that's a good option to kind of like uh, fill in the gaps in your wardrobe and. As a sister missionary, I think you get so sick of your clothing by the end of the mission. I don't know about elders, but. Um, Something I did a lot is, is my companions and I would share clothes um, just because their clothes are new to you, so it adds a little variety. Um, with shoes, I would definitely um, invest in a good pair of boots. Um, that's really important during the winter because it is rainy and, and sometimes there's snow. Um, but you do you do want a good solid pair of boots. I had um, I had a pair of um, I think they were they were on the brand Keen K E E N um, and they were boots and they were pretty cheap and they lasted me my whole mission. Um, so I would really recommend that they have different colors. Um, <clears throat> another thing is um, you will get <laughs> you will get used to wearing tights a lot like. That's basically a staple. Um, sometimes even in the summer, um, just depending on how cold it is. Because if the sun's not out, it can get cold. But basically, the whole winter you wear and spring you wear tights um, with boots. <laughs> um, a fun thing to to have are some scarves to change it up. Um, just some fun patterns. Uh, the great thing about being a sister missionary now is that you can wear col colorful stuff and and um, you, you want to still be professional and conservative, but um, I don't think there, there's a reason to not be yourself in your clothing, and, and that's still a way that you can um, uh, you can um, express yourself, I guess. Um, but just not too extreme, maybe. <laughs> um, I think just in general, um, like loose, um, flowy skirts and, and dresses are the best because you just, you don't want to be uncomfortable. A lot of times you're, um, you don't have the best seating arrangements when you go and, and teach investigators. So you don't want to be worrying about, about skirts that are coming up or something. Um, <clears throat> I think that's pretty much it. Uh, with your, with your hair, it is a little bit more humid, but I have, um, I have quite curly hair. I, I straighten it. Um, and the humidity wasn't, wasn't, um, too bad. Like I could still straighten it. It would stay straight. And, um, I got really lucky with, um, with it not being that rainy while I was there, especially in the summers. So it was great. Um, I did end up taking an umbrella, but <laughs> you kind of just don't end up using it because it does get really windy there too. So, um, like so many umbrellas broke, uh, they just get turned inside out. And, um, you kind of just, I would invest in like a, um, a sort of, I had a North face windbreaker, um, that was waterproof too. And so I would use that a lot when it wasn't super cold, but it would keep me dry. I just put the, get one with a hood and you can just use that instead of, um, instead of an umbrella. It, it just, sometimes it just doesn't, <laughs> by the end of your mission, it's like not even worth it to pull out an umbrella. You just like put your hood on. And I think it's similar to people that live in Seattle where it rains a lot. You're just used to it and um, you just go with the flow. So um, uh, yeah, I would get, I would get uh, one warm, really warm coat though for the winter though, because it does get quite cold. So the first thing I would say um, that you should bring to England is umbrellas. <laughs> Because it just rains a lot there. It doesn't really snow that much, but it rains all the time. Especially if you are serving in London. Yeah, London is very foggy and rainy like throughout the whole year. 
Yeah, when I went on a mission, I brought two <laughs> in my two umbrellas in my suitcase. Yeah, um, yeah, during a mission, you would just be like buying new umbrellas all the time because you either lose them <laughs> while you're taking the bus and talking to people on the bus, or the wind just breaks your umbrellas all the time. Mm -hmm. Another useful thing to um, bring would be tights. Tights is definitely something that saved my life during winter in England. It's um, very windy and cold and wet during winter in England. Yeah, so I remember like a lot of times during winter, I needed to wear at least like two pairs of tights. I wear a pair of leggings and then two pairs of tights and a pair of socks and then with my boots. <laughs> yeah, because sister, we need to wear skirts. We are not like elders that can wear trousers. <laughs> so yeah, we you had to find ways to make ourselves to keep ourselves warm. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as I mentioned, uh, boots are very important, but. I think like if a sister missionary is going there like during summer, she probably doesn't need to buy boots from here and then brought it up because boots takes a lot of space in a suitcase. Like England, they make really good boots because of their weather, <laughs> so they have to make it good. Yeah, so it's not something that I would say you have to buy it like before your mission, mm -hmm. but it's definitely something that you will need on <laughs> your mission. <laughs> Our dress and grooming in London, um, it's a bit different, you know, like for London mission, I don't know about the other missions in England, but for England London mission, um, for skirts, it has to be, the length of the skirt has to be in between our knee and our meat calf. It can be, it cannot be longer than our meat calf because if our skirts is too long, it looks not professional and also uh, I feel like probably because people have a lot of misunderstanding about the church and we don't want to confuse ourselves with other religion that we're really really long skirts and traditional uh, clothing so yeah that was something unique about the England <laughs> London mission especially for sisters and yeah and sisters there they always dress very professional and stylish I think it's because probably because we are in London so yeah we are, we are always encouraged to do um, some makeup at least put on some makeup to make ourselves look nice and make our hair look nice to look stylish and professional at the same time yeah people are in London are very very stylish yeah so I, I, I guess it, it does help because you know when we present ourselves well, people are more <laughs> willing, you know, to talk to us and yeah, they just feel happier to talk to us. If I could give any tips, I would say that don't bring a lot. Like, you're going to England, it's a first world country, you can buy stuff there. Um, so save as much room as you can in your suitcase because there's a lot of charity shops in England, like thrift stores are a lot more common there than they are here and so like it's so easy to go and buy mission clothes at charity shops in England for a lot less than you would buy them at like first-hand stores here um, so I kind of did that I did a lot of their shopping here but I wish I just wouldn't have taken so much over there because I ended up like throwing it away and buying stuff there anyway because they're like a year ahead of us in fashion so whatever you bring is not going to be fashionable <laughs> I I learned a lot about um, how to dress like English people while I was on my mission like how to blend in with their culture um, and they've They've got a lot of options over there. There's a store called Primark. It's basically like Forever 21, only cheaper and way more clothes. I would recommend just like waiting till you get there. <laughs> Go to Primark, buy a lot. It's great. I know it's like a, a temptation as a sister missionary to just like not really care about how you look. But in London, you can't really do that <laughs> because no one will want to talk to you or take you seriously if you don't look 
like presentable. Um, and in my opinion, you're a representative of Jesus Christ. Why would you want to look anything less than your best? Um, so I know it takes more time in the morning, but try your best to make yourself look as good as you can, even though the weather will probably ruin it by noon.